Well, first of all, I served on the Administrative Rules Review Committee, uh, and yesterday, actually, I was visiting with Secretary Matt Schultz uh, regarding this issue. Uh, the statistics are somewhat dis um, disconcerting to me. Um, recently, at a presentation to the Administrative Rules Review Committee, uh, it was announced that there are 3,582 non-citizens may have registered to vote in Iowa, and 1,208 of these individuals voted, voted in the 2010 election. Uh, the information for this is generated by the Iowa Department of Transportation uh, and records of non-citizens who have attained a driver's license in Iowa and provided that driver's license number when registering to vote. So I think I think the one thing that really concerns me is that we need to we need to talk about the three pillars of elections in our state: um, election integrity, voter rights, and voter integrity. And each of them are, are extremely important. So I actually criticized Secretary Schultz a little bit with his plan a week ago or so in front of the Administrative Rules Review Committee because I don't think he was focusing enough on what I want to call voter um, integrity. That is, voters know that they shouldn't be doing things that are legal. Voters know that they shouldn't be engaging in fraudulent practices, whether that be registering twice, uh, whether that be a situation where they you know, attempt to um, uh, I don't know, you know, sign something, forging it for, for, for somebody else, whatever. I, and, and frankly, um, I think that we need to have stronger, we need to have stronger uh, voting rules to, to uh, protect the sanctity of voting in the state. And, and I'm very supportive of uh, what they would call photo ID or photo ID, voter ID in the state. I, you know, you, you, gotta, you gotta show your ID to, to buy beer, you gotta show your ID to buy cigarettes, you gotta show your ID for tons of things um, in, in this state. It's, it's considered common practice, and yet we don't require somebody to show a photo ID when they vote. Mrs. Wellman, three minutes. Thank you, ma'am. I always believed only eligible Iowans have the right to vote, first and foremost. Uh, being a county supervisor or working at a county level or local level, we have great auditors across the state of Iowa. Great auditors. They are the ones locally that do the elections. If at any time any one of those auditors, and, the, and they have their own group called ISAC, that they meet and talk, at any time, if any one of those auditors feel that there's a problem or concern, they should bring it to the legislature and we should have, have a chance to talk about it and see what those levels of concerns are, and then at that time address it. Uh, can I follow up then? Sure. Would, you, would you support a photo ID resolution? There's so many ways that you cannot get photo ID, and for that reason, probably not. Thank you. And would you like, uh, you do have one minute for rebuttal. Thank you. I, I appreciate the, the opportunity to visit a little bit more on this issue. This is a very interesting issue because Senator Wilhelm chairs the local government committee. Uh, county auditors have talked to me about this issue. Con county auditors did have bills that they wish to have introduced. And those bills died in the Senate local government committee because Senator Wilhelm didn't wish to take them up. 